Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. Um, you know, where we left off, I was waiting on a bunch of parts I'd ordered for finishing up the heater system and getting the intake manifold reinstalled, things like that. So, um, while I'm waiting on those parts, I thought I'd, uh, start getting a, a head start on all the braking things that I need to do. So I kind of wanted to walk you through this big old pile of parts here and what my plan is as far as upgrading the brakes on my, uh, Mark II Cobra. Um, after doing a lot of researching as far as uh, the braking system on these go, uh, you know, being that it is a front mid-engine car and, you know, the weight is shifted more towards the rear, these tend to like more rear brake, um, you know, much larger rear brake system. Um, currently, the car has the Fox body stock disc drum set up out of the 89 Mustang that it, uh, was used as the donor vehicle. That being said... Um, here is basically you know, the pile of parts I have for the rear of this vehicle. Um, my plan is I'm going to be using uh, the 11.65 Cobra rear rotors. Um, I'm going to redrill them for a four lug pattern because that's what I currently have on the vehicle. You know, down the road I can always uh, switch to a five lug when I want to upgrade the wheels and tires. That's just not in the immediate budget. Um, to go along with those, I have uh, the Thunderbird... Um, rear calipers. I think they're the 38 millimeter off the top of my head. I can't exactly remember. Um, and then I got the North Race Cars Thunderbird caliper kit. And then on top of that, Super Coupes Unlimited makes an adapter bracket to adapt the 11.65 rotors to the rear of a Thunderbird. So that way I can get these uh, everything to play nicely together. It includes the brackets and then a couple spacer rings to fit the rotors properly on the uh, Fox body rear axles. Um, along with that, I have a 94 to 95 master cylinder I'm gonna use, proportioning valve. Um, I got a bunch of different fitting kits from Maximum Motorsports for adapting everything, as well as their uh, hard line and braided line kit for the rear axle. So I have everything there that I need uh, to install this on the rear end and get everything put back together and playing nice, e-brake cables, the whole nine yards. Going with the uh, Hawk Street 5.0 pads, uh, both front and rear, uh, should give me pretty good, you know, daily drivability style braking, you know, minimal dust, but still really good braking. I've always liked Hawk parts, uh, used them many times in the past. And then uh, to go along with the rear parts, um, I have new calipers for the front. They're just stock 5 liter uh, Fox body front calipers. Um, the rotors I have, I'm going to reuse because they only have like 2,000 miles on them and they look brand new. It was just the calipers, they're leaking really bad and I didn't want to take a chance and mess them up trying to rebuild them. Um, also got the Russell braided line set, which will give me the two front lines as well as the one that goes to the rear axle from the, the single line going down the uh, center of the vehicle. And then I also have a new rear diff cover since I have to pull that apart to get the axles out in order to remove the drums and all those associated parts. Um, ordered new fluid. I'll be using you know, Redline uh, gear oil. I've always used that in the past and it's been great and with the uh, Ford 8.8 rears with the limited slips. Um, over there in the corner you can see I have an old Fox body axle from my old uh, 5 liter Mustang that I'm actually using that for uh, marking the template or using that as a template for drilling the rotors. So that is my brake setup in a nutshell. Um, I did also get um, POR15 brake caliper paint kit. So I'm going to paint these calipers with that. So they'll all be painted black. Um, and then, yeah, so that is the plan for the brakes. Um, I think I'm going to start prepping parts. You know, I can get the rotors drilled, start painting parts, things like that, and just try and knock out some of those little tasks and uh, get things taken care of and ready to install on the vehicle. All right, well, after about an hour of work, um, you know, I had to drill small holes first and kind of step myself up um, I, I used about three different smaller drill bits, and then I went to a couple of different step bits to work my way. Um, but here is the final result. Um, it bolts on fine. You can see the little hub centering ring that's in there as well. Uh, so this is up against uh, the existing brake drum that's on the car. I was just you know using this as a template uh, to try and get everything fitted. But you can see how it works. You know, everything is lining up fine with the studs and whatnot. So uh, I got one down, just have to drill one more and the rotors will be prepped and then it'll be time to start doing all the work on the uh, rear brake or rear axle as far as taking it apart 
and replacing all the brake parts. Um, I was looking at the instructions for the POR15 caliper paint kit that I have. I think in the long run, it's gonna be easier to do that with everything mounted on the car. So I think I'm gonna just go ahead, install everything as is, and then either later in the year or over the winter or something, I can then do the uh, brake caliper painting uh, once everything's mounted up and installed. So I think that's my best bet there. All right, it's been a few days since the last video. I um, had to do some housework yesterday, so I wasn't able to work on the car, uh, but came out here and went ahead and drilled the second rotor. So we are all set there. Both rotors are good to go. Um, so I wanted to, you know, just trying to get this busy work done because in a couple of days I'll have the day off of work and I'm planning on really digging into the, the brakes and trying to get all that done with that day off that I have. So um, other good news today, most of the parts I had ordered showed up. Um, I received the uh, two fittings I had ordered for the heater core, the 145, 190, as well as the um, molded line. So I have that. I also received from CSR the uh, new thermostat next, so I have that, so I can start messing around with getting the cooling system back together. And then one other thing I wanted to show you, um, I was able to get some paint on the North race car brackets. I did these yesterday uh, while I was outside doing yard work. I was able to you know, put some coats down. Um, I know I'd said I'm not gonna paint the calipers or anything until everything is installed and all said and done. Uh, but these, you know, once they're on, they're pretty much on. So I wanted to make sure that these had some good paint on them. Uh, the calipers, I just have some concerns that I might have to do some modifications or whatnot, uh, take them on and off. And uh, just to be safe, I didn't want to put paint on them until everything is ready to be finally installed. So um, I'll probably get it all together, drive it, test it out, and then I can put it back up in the air and just paint the calipers on the car. So uh, that's where things stand with the brakes for now. I at least have these uh, brackets ready to be installed once I pull the rear end apart. All right, next day, and uh, plan for today is to work on getting the heater core uh, plumbed up and whatnot. Uh, and this, you, know, you can see the two old fittings, both 90 degrees, and then the two new fittings I got from um, Speedway Motors. One's a 45, one's a 90, and then I also got this rubber molded line just in case I can use that for anything. So. Um, I'm going to go ahead and uh, start messing around with the layout that I have in mind, uh, see if I'll be able to get everything to play nice together and run the lines accordingly. All right, so I've been messing around with this for a couple hours, trying to figure out layouts of how to make this work. And I think I've gotten to the point where I am SOL at this point in time. Um, I was able to use the 90 degree new fitting as well as the 90 degree hose, uh, and I was able to get one line run. Uh, but the one, I just it's too close to the firewall with any of the fittings and the hose I have and where the existing holes are, I cannot make it work. So have to think about possibly making a hard line adapter or something on those lines to be able to just make those tight bends and uh, get this thing connected. So I um, think I'm going to leave or end this video right here. You know, enough droning on over the last few days of things I was doing. Uh, so more to come. Um, I'm off tomorrow, so I'll probably be doing the entire break job tomorrow. That's kind of my plan of attack there. So a uh, new video will be posted soon. So if you like what you see, please uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. Thank you for watching and have a great day.